Hey everybody, I'm doing this for my good friends at Android Next, which is the German news site on the web. And I'm trying to root slash install a custom ROM on my brand new Samsung Galaxy S3, which I have right here. And I hope that I'm not going to break it. There is something special about this video though. I don't have a Windows operating system, um, so I'm just going to have to do this on Linux. And since I'm one of the first people who are going to do this on Linux, I'm, I thought I might as well make a video out of it for you guys. So I got my screen recording good to go, and of course, as I am recording on my SGS2, uh, you can see what's happening on my desk. Well, um, I got a Vodafone branded SGS3, and even though it's a very fast and responsive phone, let me just do the face unlock, here we go. Um, I feel more comfortable with my SGS2 right now, so that has to change. And I want to install something that hasn't been polluted by my carrier. And, um, well, I'm just going to reboot into download mode and check with a software called Heimdall if it will detect the phone correctly and, of course, if it can print PIT, which is a read operation and, to me, and a very important test. Um, if this test goes wrong, I am, of course, not going to try and, uh, any write operations. Um, I'm going to provide you with all the software and all, your, all the links, um, everything you need for that, so you don't need to Google anything. And, uh, well, I'm going to get back to you once I'm in download mode. Well, as most of you people know, um, you got to put this thing into download mode, uh, which is going to work like this. you got to hold power down the home button and then push power on. It's going to take like five seconds or something. And see, there's... Uh, a little warning coming up that a custom operating system can cause critical problems, blah, 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 blah. But we all know that, so we're just going to save volume up and continue. So we're in download mode, and I'm just going to connect this to my computer. And you're going to see what's happening on the screen after that. Now let's see if we can detect the device. So we should see. As you do, handle detect. We're in download mode right now. It's my password, and it says device detected. And now we're gonna try and print PIT. We'll try a read operation. There's a lot of output, and it says reattaching kernel driver and rebooting device. And my SG3 is rebooting. Yay! So, as you can see, my first test has gone successful and my phone has rebooted. So, I've seen several um, entries in the forum where people were complaining about it not working, not printing PIT and all that, but that seems to have been working just fine and, um, well, I've still got my USB cable attached. And the next thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do is, um, well, do the actual flashing. So, I'm just going to reboot that thing into download mode once again and... Here comes the hard part because I sure hope I'm not going to break it. So here I am back and my phone is back in download mode as you can see. And I did a quick check. I checked if Heimdall is going to be working and if it detects the device correctly again. And well, um, you're probably going to see more in the screencast cast and we're going to cut that right. And well, um, I'm going to put my phone down now and um, well, do the actual flashing. One last test if the vo device gets detected. And now I'm just going to type in what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you about it. So it's Heimdall flash minus minus recovery and the recovery image minus minus cache and the cache image which is based on the worker Chainfire and he's gonna, um, well, he's done some amazing work and I'm just gonna press enter, I'm a little bit shaky right now but uh, here goes alright, it seems to be rebooting well, let's see, here we go I get clockwork mod. That's cool. Well, I sure hope it's gonna work. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pretty fucking pissed. It's waiting for the SD card to mount, but I don't think I have one in there, so I think it's just assuming that I don't have one in there. 
Oh, it says cleaning up and rebooting. I don't know if you can read that. All right, I, I didn't make any preparations. Oh, well. All right. So far, so good. But this is just rude. I didn't do anything. Uh, Android is upgrading. All right. Starting applications. And there's my lock-in screen. Well, let me just unlock that thing. And here we go. Well, I'm back on my old system. Let me just... Let me just check what happened. Legal information, blah, blah, blah. As you can see here, I'm... Um, I own the 9300, the, um, that's the international wor version of the Galaxy S3. And um, the kernel says, it doesn't say anything about root so far. But I'm going to get back to you after I installed the SuperUser app. So here I am back again, I just installed SuperUser and AdFree. And oh, this pisses me off. I hate the Vodafone updates, I hate them so much. But this is all going to be gone soon, and um, so here goes Ad Free Android. Oh, la 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 la, no, I wanted to boot normally. So, let's see. It's supposed to ask. Okay, ask me again next time. No, I don't want that. Grand Super User permissions. Update found. So, let's just see if it does that. No, no need that. Download and install hosts. Success! Yay! So, I got root, and the next thing I'm going to do is install CyanogenMod, and then I'm going to be very, very happy. Thanks for watching.